This is definitely new. <laughs> I don't want to do heated up caramel, and honestly, we put too much on it when we like try and dunk it in there, and Taylor just came in and said it melts the marshmallow, so she's happy to see me doing it like this. But I've just been making myself little patties and like kind of ripping off extra because I don't want too much on there. Like it's kind of excessive, but then it's kind of... You think people are going to hate on us? It, people like to hate on things. <laughs> I feel like they're going to just say it's inefficient, but at the same time, right. it's really not because I spend a lot of time on cleanup for caramel and heating it up means going back and forth every like two minutes to the microwave to get it back up to temperature mm. or you need to have a kettle going that is a pain to set up. This takes no time to set up. That's true. And um, I just get to sit here yeah. and so, it's like I'm playing with like uh, I'm playing with clay. I'm just, what would you think the time difference is? I would say uh, same exact time but better quality. Oh, okay. Like there's it melts the marshmallows and it makes them like a little kind of like messy and then you put too much caramel on it so there's like this pool of caramel that goes out and it's not it's almost like wasteful almost a little bit. bit and it you're trying to make it a ball at the end to put on like a popsicle stick and it makes them look really goofy when they got <laughs> this like top they look more like a mushroom have you ever done this this way before i've done it yeah last time but i was too early in the morning so you guys didn't get to see me do it Terry did come in and say, she's like, that's a video. <laughs> so, you know, Terry, she's out Seriously, here thinking about you guys. To, now we get to do it as a video. Yeah. Steve was happy about it, too, because he likes the way it looks. It's hard to get it to where you got the right amount of caramel if you're just, like, dipping, dipping them into something and trying to pull it out. It's hard to pull it out. They would get lost in that caramel bath a lot, these marshmallows. And be like, where'd the marshmallow go? It's just like, it's just gone. Di go dig it out, but it's like <laughs> 200 degree caramel, you're not sticking your hand in there. Yeah, so. wouldn't the marshmallow just disintegrate? Um, they do melt, so you gotta be quick, and it's like, it was a stressful process, and I'm like, <laughs> can I just sit here and like, just make a patty and make a patty and kind of fold it around and then work it around my hand so that I get some type of some straight edges and clean up the sides so that they're so you kind of got it down to a science of like how much to use, like how much caramel. Yeah, a little wrap around. I want to make sure that it like a present, it like seals the sides. I'm gonna push that in, and then I don't want too much, so I'm. It's a lot of little pinches to kind of like get that extra caramel off. I think this is efficient. I don't think it's not efficient. I think this is. What's a faster way to do it? I guess right. like I can't I mean, think of one. No. That actually makes it look good. So, I think it's good. It's just like I hold it here quick. and I quick. use like these two fingers to kind of just rotate it it's around. Not, it's not like a too much caramel. I think like when you dipped it in, like sometimes it did get too much. It's very hard to control it that way. It's what way you, easier to control it this what way. What would you do with like the pools of caramel around it? Would you put them were, off or would no, you? When they were frozen, you put them in the fridge and then when I would take them out of the fridge, I would literally with my hands try and like squeeze it to oh, make it a circle. <laughs> so it was like an excess caramel. Like it was it excess was caramel much. and it made more work for me in the long run that added time to it. So maybe this does save time. I don't know. Right, yeah, because after you take them out, you got to smush them down. Extra steps get taken that away because that of this. Step. Yeah. And you've had to do you've had to do this a hundred times. And how many is this? Fifty. That's, that's eighty, right? There. Eighty. Forty on each tray. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Some of them are. They thick. are making a cool noise. Oh. oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> slid. Um, popped. Popped on over. Oh. Because <laughs> usually this part's already done. Right? Yeah, you yeah. put the sticks in first, obviously. To yeah. Because I gotta get somewhere to hold it when I go and cover it in chocolate, so. Put them back in the fridge now that I got my mixer going and stuff. Getting everything ready. So you have to put sticks in them and then you just, what, do a puddle with. Puddle with pecans and then I cover them chocolate, coat them in pecans, and put them down on a different tray. I was going to say, it's just like a, you cover them in chocolate first and then just kind of roll them in pecans, right? Yep. Okay. Nice little even coating. 
Those are gonna fit in the fridge? Just barely. <laughs> So we are packing up some stuff. Yeah, chocolate okay. drops. Mm. Yummy. Chocolate drops are just vanilla, right? Yeah. Okay. Vanilla, and then they only come in dark chocolate. I don't know. Shouldn't they be called chocolate vanilla? Or how does that work? It's chocolate. They are. They are called chocolate drops. Vanilla cream center. Okay. Okay. They add covered in dark chocolate. The fine print here. Yeah. The fine print. <laughs> <laughs> That's their government name. That's the, we don't use that name. We don't use that one. Name. So what did these people get? So they got these, and then they got two Oreo bombs. Everybody mm. loves these. That's the two double stuffed Oreos in a peanut butter cup. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Do you see the Oreo blasts going out as much? The that's like the peppermint one. Yeah. I mean, I well. I like that one a lot. That's my favorite one. Yeah. And I just want and those to be more popular. Yeah. I do think that the peanut butter is more popular, but that's just because everybody loves chocolate and peanut butter. That's true. Everybody I get it. it. But like, everybody every time someone comes in the store it. and they're like, oh, like, what should I get? I always say that. Uh -oh. Everybody gets this too. And also it's not his first order either. So he, pr he just knows what he likes. That's I true. You know what I mean? I mean, like, how much do you... I go to fast food a little bit, probably too much, and like I keep. <laughs> I only get the same thing. Yeah, I, I mean, get the same thing. Duncan, I, mean, I only get the same coffee every single yeah, time. That's perfect. I always get a breakfast sandwich. That's I it. <laughs> Sausage, egg, and cheese. Boom, done. That's it. Cash me out. Cash me out. You. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you got to do. So I totally get having the same order because I pretty much do at every place I go to. Yeah. And we get how it. many cold packs? Just one. One little cold pack. Technically, what is a cold pack for? Like, f in this order? Like, is it in for the chocolate drop? In this order, drops? it's just for the chocolate, yeah. Like, if this person had just ordered hard candy, they probably would not have needed a cold pack. But, chocolate's king. Where is this order going, by the way, after you're done putting those in there? Gotta make sure, yeah, so I'm just making sure all the chocolate is touching the cold pack. There it is. Okay. And I want to say I looked and it said with... I, was gonna, I thought I looked in inside of Wisconsin, but it's going to North Carolina, so I don't oh. know what I saw. I don't Hello. know what I was reading. I love North Carolina. I more of a South Carolina person. I want to move there when I get older, even though I'm old already. I feel like I, when I do these videos, I have to give somebody something special. That's true. I agree. I definitely At agree. At this point. This is a letter opener, I think. <laughs> I don't think? even know. I don't even know, but I hope it's useful. Nope, mm, I, I hope it's useful to you. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you love it. I hope you get a lot of letters, and yeah. now you have a, a really easy way to open them if that's what it does. We should start putting. We should start putting notes in the boxes that we ship that we say like. This, oh, like this was on video. This was on video. Oh, Check out. Oh, that is a good idea. Should we do it for this one? As she goes to tape, she goes, that is a good idea, tape. <laughs> <laughs> Put like a little side note, a little side note, like, this box was filmed. <laughs> Hercules YouTube. Hercules YouTube. <laughs> Just so they know, then if they want to go and watch our videos specifically of their item. As I'm sure you all know, the economy has been a bit challenging and unpredictable for the last couple of years, especially if you're a small business owner. And who knows what the future holds? I certainly don't. My crystal ball has been broken for years. But if you're crystal ballless like me, ShipStation can help you keep your business thriving even in tough times by helping you save time and money without cutting corners. I personally save about 20 hours every week because of ShipStation. It's very quick and simple to set up and you can manage every order from one simple to use dashboard. ShipStation also effortlessly integrates everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. Manage every order from one easy to use dashboard. Automate routine shipping tasks, 
print shipping labels, the list goes on. When you use ShipStation, you can worry less about your bottom line and more about actually running your business. And they're actually hooking you guys up with a 60-day free trial when you click the link in our description or go to ShipStation.com slash Hercules. That's ShipStation.com slash Hercules. And thank you ShipStation for sponsoring this video. I hope you enjoy I hope you it. love it. I hope you love your possible letter opener and your sticky notes. Your sticky note. <laughs> oh yeah, because you give you give them a whole stack of sticky notes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not just one note. Seal her up. Just like that. Off to North Carolina. Off to <laughs> Yes. Later this afternoon. Okay going in two days I believe so they should get it Wednesday. Perfect. Signature of approval. There it is. Good job, I did Taylor. it. Good job, you killed Scott. it. You just have to do that how many more times because you have a lot of shipping to do huh? <laughs> yeah I think possibly like 75 more times. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's early. It's early in the day. Have fun with that. <laughs> Precision. Wow that was an accurate cut. Of course. You could be a surrogate. You shouldn't. <laughs> Why do you say that? Had, because you have designated cut <laughs> things. Like, all you gotta do is go straight down. <laughs> I don't know if that develops. I've watched Grey's Anatomy like six times. I could be a surgeon. Oh, you sure. are a doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Like, certified. Okay, okay. She knows. Never mind. That's basically five years of college. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I've never seen an episode of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> You no, my god, that is so that's offensive. Actually, that's a class in, in uh, Have you seen Grey's Anatomy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be a surgeon either. That's a, that's a school. That's school. It right is there. schooling. Like, I know a lot because of Grey's Anatomy. Not drunk, is it not like true all. stuff, though? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like they're just lying to you. They can't, so they can't lie. It's why? so dramatized. They it's definitely can so lie. It's a dramatic, For amazing. And Taylor, I, do you watch Grey's Anatomy? I do. <gasps> <laughs> Me and Julia, we do like a lot of the same shows. Yes. Okay, yes. so you guys are just I, surgeons. We've talked about shows before. Yeah. Are I'm you, almost. Do you like, feel like you could be a surgeon? I, I think I could. <laughs> I really think I could do it. <laughs> That's so like, dangerous. Like, That's I feel really. like at least like if so I was dangerous. in a situation where like somebody needed some kind of medical attention, I feel like I'm fully qualified. Yes, I feel the same like, way. Like, for the ambulance ride, I'm basically an EMT at this point <laughs> from watching it. I, feel I, the I think same. so. Thank you, Taylor. Actually, like they were judging me. <laughs> of like, course, they were judging you. They. <laughs> Oh. They bully Julia. Thank you. All the time. Thank you. All the time in this well, room. Well, Newsflash, you ain't a surgeon. So. You ain't a surgeon. <laughs> we could be, though. We could be. I believe it. We With some schooling and some, you With know, a degree, I think you could do it. <laughs> Whatever, Scott. Whatever. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, you wouldn't understand. Maybe yeah. I'll watch Grey's Anatomy Such and then down. I'll let you know. I know. Comes in tomorrow, straight surgeon vibes. Yeah. They come in Watches in like the, the episodes of Grey's In the outfit. Like a lab surgeon. coat. Yeah, lab coat. <laughs> Scrub cap. I'm like, guys, I watched one episode of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> one episode, oh, what is it? One, one episode of Grey's Anatomy and it's like all the way through, you're just in a full <laughs> surgeon uniform yeah. going to work. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> Whoa. Hi guys. I don't know if that was a transition or not, but I figured I'd start with the chocolate. I mean, or it's just it could a, be like the a brown screen thin. for a second. Kind of confusing. Yeah, like it's buffering. Isn't there a cool transition in SpongeBob um, when Barbara Boy and yeah, <laughs> and doesn't it spin on the screen? Yeah. I think that's what we should do. I right? like that. Yeah, get that, get that editing going. That's magic. Oh, we're missing a good part. Don't miss. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I've never had these and they look amazing. They are to die for. I don't even really like pecans and like, just like it seems like a lot, but I ate one one time. Ate? Yeah. I, it was, it was yummy. 
it is exactly what you'd expect it to be. I mean, it is a marshmallow I can't even, I can't it, wrapped in caramel, covered in chocolate, and rolled in nuts. Like I don't know what's going on. That is exactly what it's exactly what you'd expect. Which is just a, it's kind of a lot, but it's delicious. <laughs> it's one of those delicious messes. So with your new method, you're not having to go and each one having to ball them up and no, punch they look, them together. They look really nice in the end. They're very uniform in a way. They all kind of are you the know, same. They all do look really nice. Okay, even on camera they look good. Yeah, wonderful. Because <laughs> sometimes, you know, things look better in person than on camera. Definitely. So like this is one of those situations where it's like it even looks good on camera, which it even looks better in person. It does look better in person. These are so yummy. They smell good. I'm a fan. And Julia's still cutting caramels? Yep. <laughs> still going. Still going. You know, high stakes work over there. She's dealing with a very sharp knife. <laughs> yeah, the sharp knife doesn't seem to be holding them off. So how many can you usually cover with just like the one puddle? I've been just like, honestly, it's it's one continuous puddle in a way because as it gets a little bit smaller, I add more chocolate to it to cool down the hot chocolate from my kettle and mix it into this stuff here. So kind of just, I keep this puddle going. Like a continuous. Yeah, it's how you keep it keep it going fast. If I had to like retemper the, the chocolate every single time and get the puddle exactly. started, it would take a lot longer. So kind of just keep the chocolate tempered right here as I go. Is the covering of it quicker than the adding the caramel? Yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, just going through right now, I'm gonna grab a little bit more chocolate. That's all I need right there. Oh yeah, just a little bit more. And mix it in so that it gets to be like a consistent temperature and then also just because these are covered in nuts I don't have to worry too much about it being like as temperate as I would if it was just like a mold because you don't really see the chocolate right I mean, it's a lollipop of sorts. Yeah. It's not like hard candy. It's a marshmallow. A turtle pop. Turtle pop, yeah. It's like a cake pop. Kind cake of. pop, yeah, close to a cake pop. More of a dessert. These do look so good. Pop. There's a. T I keep relating to SpongeBob, but there's a there's a SpongeBob like candy or like dessert thing that looks like this. Have to get that one. I, I don't know. I can't think of one. It's when his when he's in the like the Olympics. Remember when SpongeBob in like the Olympics and it's like them making themselves into um, desserts. Remember SpongeBob? Like Patrick dives in and he's like a strawberry ice cream cone. Come on, you remember the I strawberry remember. ice cream cone? I can't. Hopping. He's in, he starts in a cone. And he's like oh, jumping to yeah. the to the diving board and he jumps into yes. the chocolate and he comes out with a strawberry ice cream cone? Yes, I do. <laughs> I can't I remember the remember. candy though. One of them looks like this. Does it? On a stick? I don't remember. Maybe I'm it's a turtle it pop. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go. It's a turtle pop. We're gonna pause and look it up. Alright, this is what I was talking. Exactly what we're doing right now. In the chocolate. Yep. That's unexpected. And that's pecans. That's unexpected. <laughs> At least it's almonds. It's almonds, not pecans. See? I don't do almonds. I was accurate. Okay, cut that in half again. <laughs> okay. So, me and Julia have never tried these before, and Cooper very kindly put a couple, put one aside for us. Thanks, Coop. I'll try one. Can't be a candy maker here and not have like tried the things. No, that's true. Try to try to think. Uh, 
Are you ready? Are you excited or nervous? Do you like everything on this or do you not? You don't like pecans, do you? No. <laughs> okay. I love marshmallows. Though. I love pecans, caramel, and marshmallows. So this is gonna. Oh. I love this. Perfect. Okay, three, two, one. Oh. I didn't expect it to be chewy like that. Huh. Too much pecan taste for you? Not too bad. Because, Cooper, you don't even like pecans either, do you? No, not really. But you like these? Yeah. yeah. These are good. Mm. They're very chewy. So I didn't expect it to be as chewy. Like the caramel with the, the marshmallow. I, like I like that it's chewy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're smacking. I'm sorry. <laughs> My lips are smacking. It's too good. Solid 10 out of 10. I like these a lot. Absolutely. I would definitely buy them. And it's like a multi plate kind of thing. It's like. Oh, yeah. If you can eat this in one go, you are. Oh, my God. You'll be chewing. Yeah. <laughs> you'll be. You're going to have a crazy jawline. Yeah. You get a jawline and <laughs> I like just it. chew it, man. You can really taste the pecans as bad as I can. You burn the calories you ingest by chewing it. Yeah, Just good. All right. Deal. Well, there we go. We burned some calories Buy today. Buy some turtle pops. Yeah. Is it working? <laughs> <laughs> I love okay, Karen. It's like, it's like bloopers, I think. Bloopers, the blooper reel. Okay, so did you know that Cooper does these a different way? Yes, I do. It's oh. genius. Really? You think so? Yeah, I do. Okay, I was just wow. I was asking. He does says he really it, it's that ego boost. I know. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know how they did it before, and you yes. know how he. It's easier. It's quicker. Quicker. He said that it's kind of around the same time ish, oh. but then at the end, it kind of saves some time because he doesn't have to. He won't cool as much. Well, he doesn't something? have to, like, so you know, you've seen him do it before, like when he had, like. I've done it before. In oh, the okay, so. Caramel. So you yeah. know, like, when you put this down and then it has, like, that little, like, circle pool mm -hmm. of caramel? He said when it cools, you have to, like, take it and kind of, like, mush, mush it, it in. Mush it back in. He's like, and I save myself that time not having to do that. So. He is a genius. <laughs> it is a, <laughs> a genius. A yes. genius. A candy genius. So I had to weigh it. Okay. And it's 1.4. <laughs> so 1.4 ounces. But then we have to go to our conversion count. Okay. And it's 1.439 okay. grams. 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 Put the twist tie and then just do a couple of twists. Just a couple. Just a couple to hold it. And then I heard from you a little bit ago that you said that you used to do ribbons on these. Yeah, I used to frou frou it up. <laughs> they took the frou frou away from me. Because <laughs> I like to curl it. She's really happy yeah. about it. Yeah. Are you, you happy? Are you happy about the zip ties? Or wait, yeah. not the zip, zip ties? Yeah. That'd wait, be that's, crazy. That's, <laughs> you are never getting into this turtle pop if we put zip ties on this. <laughs> <laughs> I I I I don't think this bag's gonna fit. I've been struggling this whole video. <laughs> Seven. Um. Do you did you ever get to do it with the ribbon? I never got to do it with the curling ribbon. I actually can't even picture what it would look like. Cool. Be beautiful. It was it was pretty. <laughs> that was pretty. Um. But this way they can just untwist it, rip it open, and eat it. We just it. called you a genius. At the same time. Hey. Yeah. At the Literally same. at the same exact time. They go, he's a genius. At the same time. <laughs> Shut me. Oh. <laughs> this in there. Okay, so I guess we have to move up the zip ties. <laughs> we gotta move it. That's still Next so funny. Next time zip ties. And it is easier for them to just twirl, twist it off. And then twirl around. Like Whoa. There. there. Line them up. Wow. She's beauty and she's grace. <laughs> she's Miss United States. <laughs> Karen or That's the Turtle Pops? Oh. <laughs> That's Karen. <laughs> I didn't know if you were saying the Turtle Pops were Karen is a national or. treasure. I, I love my agree. She's <laughs> talking Didn't about even. ribbons. <laughs> she's just mumbling to herself. Talking, <laughs> <laughs> talking about ribbons. We're like, she's Miss United States. She's like, where's the ribbon? <laughs> The ribbons? Where are they? <laughs> oh my god. 
Rip it dancing in my head. <laughs> <laughs> or to oh, choke. No. <laughs> okay, I that gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, on that note. Okay. Day. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Have fun not using ribbon. I think yeah. I know why we took it away, actually. <laughs> <laughs>